Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I've had a request from Valentin over in Germany to start looking at some areas of the short game, especially during this period of isolation. It is an area we can work on here in the garden. So first of all, we're going to start having a look at chipping. So one of the biggest things that I find with chipping is that a lot of people are not actually chipping. They're playing a very shortened version of the pitch shot. Their first choice of club is to go to the most lofted club and they're playing that with a lot of wrist hinge and uh, which makes the shot a lot harder than it really has to be. Also, ball position. Ball position has a tendency to creep forward again when we're playing with that lofted club. We're thinking about getting that ball up in the air. So let's go back to basics. Let's start looking at the chip shot and how we can improve this area of the game. So first of all, let's think about club selection. We can go with less loft, whether it be a sand wedge, a gap wedge, pitching wedge, or nine iron. Let's think about the distance that we have to hit it, the landing point, and how much space we've got on the green to run it out. But it's definitely an area that we want to practice with the different clubs. We then look at ball position. So we want a narrow stance, and we want this ball position back in the stance. So if we good way to start having a look at that we pop an alignment stick down on the floor and let's get our foot right up against this alignment stick then we're just going to open up our feet just a little bit so we've got our ball back in our stance weight's going to be 60 percent on our left foot which is going to help increase that angle of attack to get a really good strike on the back of the ball and our hands are going to be forward now with this shot a chip shot we're very much a one lever swing. We're not using our wrists, but we are going to turn back, turn through. You want to really keep that triangle down between your two arms and across your shoulders. And we're going to really try and keep that nice and through. So very little wrist hinge. If we're struggling, we're getting a good strike on the ball. A great little drill we can do is we just take a second alignment stick we're going to grip that underneath the shaft here and when we're working on this shot as we hit through the alignment stick shouldn't hit our body if we're starting to use too much wrist hinge too much hands we're then going to start hitting our body with that alignment stick so set up all back in our stance just going to open up those feet just to help us rotate through the shot weight on my left foot hands forward back and through and we can see that I keep that space here so let's start off let's get back to practicing the chip shot use a couple of different clubs let's concentrate on that ball position let's get it back in the stance let's get our weight on our left side and let's think about that one lever swing we want a little bit of rotation in the body good triangle in the in the arms and the shoulders and let's hold that finish through here not using too much hands couple of drills there good use of the alignment sticks good luck with that let us know how you get on